YouTube, how are we doing well today? Welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you here. Uh, I wanted to try, there's, I don't know what I'm going to title this video. There's a few things I want to learn to make in the air fryer. There's a lot of things. I'd actually like to utilize it a little bit more than I have been. Uh, but uh, I've tested a few things. But today I want to, I bought this magazine for ideas. It's uh, just for the air fryer. And it's got quite a few that I really want to try. But today... I think I want to try uh, try mozzarella sticks. Uh, you know, you can buy them frozen and, and use them, but I want to make my own. And uh, it makes it's a small recipe, so it'll it'll work out well if, it's a, if it works out. I'm sorry, I don't know why I feel like a little nervous today. It, lately, I've been that way, but um, I'm I'm gonna get through it. I apologize if I stumble on my words a little bit, but uh, anyway, I'm excited. And also French fries. Now, if you can make a good french fry in the air fryer, homemade, like that's to me, that's the best. And I did one video on some french fries and they came out really well. And I didn't post it because I used uh, Yukon Gold Potatoes. Uh, so this time I bought Russet Potatoes, but those were delicious. I actually like the Yukon Gold. Anyway, uh, I have a couple of videos I haven't posted for, I don't know why, but anyway, today we're going to work on this one. But, uh... The, you have to do these and let them freeze for two hours. So let's get started because it's already two o'clock. I always wait till the afternoon. I don't know why I can't start in the morning, but I just don't. So I only go. did a cut one step. I put, uh, I didn't measure anything either. Guys, I just, this is two eggs. And you only really need one and a little bit of milk and a little bit of hot sauce. And that's all I put in here. But this is, I'm gonna use, now you can use a block of mozzarella, which I may try next time. But I'm just going to use these Kraft uh, cheese string sticks, is what I call them. I don't know what you call them, but I need to unwrap these. And it's just a little flour. Um, you need Italian breadcrumbs. I only have plain, so we'll just add some Italian herbs to it. And I'm just going to season it a little bit. Anyway, so I'm going to unwrap these, and then we're going to bread them. And I'm going to put them in this pan over here to put them in the freezer. And then we'll work on the French. So let me unwrap those. I didn't unwrap them in, in advance because I wanted you to see that I'm using craft. I don't think it matters though, but anyway, they're, they're not, they're, these are kind of a little bit flat. I don't know why. They're not very round. I might have had, you know why? I just remembered my drawer in my refrigerator is so stuffed with tortillas. I probably flattened them out. So let me unwrap these and no, yeah, them and it's calls for eight, but of course I have to do nine. I don't know why, just in case one messes up, but these are really flimsy. So, okay, now we're going to put some breadcrumbs in a bowl, but it's going to be, I guess flour goes first, so it'll be this way. So it calls for a two-thirds cup of flour. I'm just going to grab some flour because uh, I want to make sure I have enough. I don't like to, that should be good right there. I'll make sure I have enough. Okay, and I do it on the stove because I have the best light right here to me. Now we need some breadcrumbs, and uh, offer, you just put some in a bowl. It doesn't, you could put panko probably. I don't know about Parmesan cheese. I don't know if it would burn. I'm just put about a cup of those breadcrumbs. Make sure that looks like enough. Here's some Italian seasoning. I, I love uh, Italian seasoning. I used to not like it when I was younger. I'm, I'm going to have to open this up because we need some seasoning. Oh, it's full. All right, that's, I guess, uh, that's probably about a tablespoon. It might be too much. And I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to the, I guess, breadcrumbs. Actually, I'm going to add a little salt to the flour, just a little bit, and a little to the breadcrumbs. Kosher salt. And my little pepper grinder, I think it's, it might have died on me. I was so rough on it all those times. I just keep cranking it and cranking it. And then I, it's working a little bit. You know what I think I'm gonna put? Just a touch of garlic. It's working a little bit. I bought this one. This one here, don't buy this one because it takes, it, oh look, the battery died. That's, okay. That's enough pepper. You know, I don't even own a, a plant, just a right, uh, what do you call that? Uh, ground black pepper? Yeah. I don't even own that one of those. I need to put that on my list to go to the grocery store. A little garlic powder. You know, you can just put whatever you want. I'm going to put just a little bit. Just, I don't want to over... 
overpower the, the uh, cheese flavor. That, that should do good. Let's whisk this a little bit. And I'm sure everybody knows how to uh, do the, the batter method, the, the wet, I'm sorry, the dry, the wet, and then the dry. I'm going to make sure you mix your seasoning in well. I usually buy the Italian breadcrumbs, but, or the garlic and herb one, that's the one I usually buy. Sometimes my Walmart's out of, out of stuff. This is, hopefully this is enough. I, I should have measured the milk. Hopefully that's thick enough. Let me put this in my sink because it's going to get in our way. All right. Let's start with one. So you just dip it in the flour. My recipes are... Uh, I have a new favorite recipe in the Instant Pot. It's almost like dirty rice, but it's different, and it's so simple, but it's so good, especially uh, if you are having a little, a little bit of stomach issues. I've been having a little bit of stomach issues lately, and it's just very light uh, and simple, and sometimes rice seems to settle my stomach a little bit, but here's the fir first one. It looks okay. You know, you could probably do this and then freeze them and uh, leave them in the freezer until you're ready for them. You could oh, make these in advance. And then that happens. Or I forget what the heck I want to make. That's been happening too lately. So now I started writing things down. I have a really big list. Today I was trying to keep it simple, but it doesn't look like it's going to be simple. Oh, it looks like my... Uh, you know what? I'm going to try something else. I'm going to... I think that's probably sufficient. But I'm going to add one more egg and uh, and see if it makes a little, a little bit, bit more breadcrumbs. Another egg. Let's see if this works out a little bit better. Maybe it's not supposed to be really thick. I know I, know I, want, I, I want some breading on there. All right, that looks good. I might just be playing with it too much. I need to get my nails done so they're a little bit too long. Kind of mess me, makes me fumble up a little bit. See, I got a big hole right there. I just have to, you have to have patience. You just need patience in the kitchen. When you have patience, when I have patience, my food comes out way better. You know, there's some things I just like to move fast and, and take care of. That I that when I feel confident with something and some things I just see I don't like that. I, there's a hole right there. So maybe I don't like this magazine anymore. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, that if you can pair, see the size of them. This one's a little bigger. So you know what? I might do it with all of them. We'll see. I might just. To leave some of them the way they said and some of them the way I do. So I'll be back and I'll show you uh, what they look like. I was going to try, uh, I still haven't decided which recipe, there's two recipes in here. One's for a, a fry with gravy on it and one's just regular fries. One you soak them and the other one you don't. The other one you cut into a half inch, these you cut into a fourth inch. And I like to leave the peelings on, uh, these are fairly large. So I'm just going to do the best I can, I think I'm just going to cut pieces like this and I'll, I really want to get one of those french fry cutters I just haven't seen one mine are going to be a little uneven but that's okay and I think that's not a fourth of an inch so I'm going to have to do the, the soaking method let me try this one 
And uh, I know some people don't like the peeling on them. I wonder, uh, I've seen a couple of videos and I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, somebody blanch them before, which I thought to me that would be the best method, but I'm gonna try this one. I didn't blanch them for the Yukon Gold Potatoes. Now those are creamier. Let me see that one, even that one is. Those are creamier than a russet. So let's see. I'm gonna cut this one. I'm gonna cut that off. I know this is not the proper way. So let's just, yeah, these are gonna be all uneven. But that's, see this one's really th thick, but that's okay, this is just a tr test recipe. I thought about doing like, I don't wanna be a vlogger, but I thought about doing like a uh, kitchen uh, vlog. I, I need to debone a chicken today. I, have, uh, I was either gonna make breakfast sandwiches or that instant pot recipe I was telling you about. I, I need to do that today, but I, I thought about, if I could learn how to set up the camera, not the camera, the tripod, the right way, I wouldn't mind uh, doing that. I'm a little braver now than I used to be. But I don't know if that would be boring or, you know, to just talk, listen to somebody talk and then do their, I would show different recipes and stuff like that too, like what we're, what we're cooking that day. I know a lot of people are doing uh, what we eat in a day. See these, that one, that one's way too small. These look, these look good. I'll have a few good ones in here. But I think I might, uh, these aren't as bad as I thought. But I think these, I'd have to measure them, but th these are a little bit more than a fourth of an inch. Let me see if I can get you, get you up close. See, that's, it's close, but the other is because for that, uh, you know, the, the fries they eat in Canada with the gravy on top, I forgot what it's called, or the cheese curds and the gravy. It, it has a recipe for that. I've been having this knife for so long, and I sharpen it, and Brad says I don't, I'm not, I don't really sharpen it the correct way, but I'll tell you, I sharpen it, it works better, so I just keep, I bought another one before, and I just, to me, like, I just keep buying duds, and I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on a knife that I don't know if it's gonna work for sure. Like, you know, like ordering one from Amazon or maybe one day I'd spend more money, but you get better with practice cutting vegetables. You could also make uh, hash browns. I did my breakfast sandwiches in the air fryer the last time I made them. I did, uh, we have a little six inch, I think it's about six inch pan, and I scrambled the eggs in there. You have to put it in there for uh, like a couple of minutes. Then you take the eggs out and stir them, and then I made breakfast sausage patties. And uh, it turned out really well. I was excited that it, it worked well. I, mean, I still like to use my oven too. It just, it just heats up the house. But I'm telling you, that air fryer does put off a little heat though. These, these are a little bit thin. I don't know if I'm going to use those. This one is pretty thick. I'm just going to go with it. I don't know. A lot of people don't like the, the uh, peeling on the fry, but I really like it. And these are so much better for you than fried french fries. You just, I can't get over it, you know? And I know one thing. My video for my chicken wings don't get a lot of views. But I'm telling you, those things are so good. I, I, I want to try more and more. Okay. Well, I did better than I thought. Look, here's what they look like. So, they're a little bit thicker. Let me see. Uh, maybe I should go through them and cut. Now yeah, I'm going to really mess up, huh? Let me go back and... Maybe I should just take out a couple of thick... This one's pretty thick. I could uh, just go ahead and try it. You can season it with whatever seasonings you like. You have to put oil on them, of course. And I think I might have to preheat the air fryer. Yeah, these are going to be uneven. I'll just... Okay. I'm just making sure there's no really, really, really thick ones. They all look pretty good. These I'm not going to use, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not going to use those. So, uh, let me pull all these and figure out what I'm going to season them with, and then we'll... I think you have to preheat the air fryer, and I'll move the air fryer back to the Preheat the air fryer to 380. And I... I was wondering if I should do mine on a lower temperature so much, since mine are a little bit thicker. I'm just, I'm just going to do 380. So go up, and I think it just, I'm going to do just about three minutes. I think it'll work like that. And I could use olive oil or, but I think I'm going to use a little, a, a little uh, canola oil, I think, for this one. And I'm just going to put 
Well, let me move you over so you can see what I'm doing. You can play in the spice cabinet. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this. I'm gonna get my seasonings out. Well, I definitely want lots of pepper, so let me start grinding that now. And I'll mix it around. Yeah, it works pretty good, I guess. I love, I even put black pepper sometimes, not all the time, on top of my ketchup. That's how much I love, and this is like tri-colored peppercorn, I love them. And I always forget, I have white pepper, and I always forget about white pepper. I think I like white pepper too. Okay, well I just wanted to get that done. So let's pour a little bit of this. Duh, I forgot how much it said. I know that you want them to be real, well coated, and you want to spray your basket, which I did. Let me get my tones out. And let's do a little salt. And uh, it says you can do a little thyme. Uh, Ella's not, Ella likes thyme with like chicken and stuff, but she doesn't like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do a little onion powder. Just a little, not much. Just for a little bit of something. And a tiny bit of garlic. And I think, I know, maybe it's just a little bitty sprinkle of time. She won't even notice it, maybe. I have this little, I have some fresh time outside, but I have this little one right here. You gotta be careful with this thing. Let me show you. couple of sprinkles that's it it doesn't take much it's pretty strong all right let's see if I have enough oil in here and it says to put it it looks well coated I want you to see what they look like I don't know if I have enough pepper <laughs> I think that's good. Maybe just one more little dab of pepper. I didn't, I didn't even know you could preheat the air fryer to the other day. I was reading the instructions. Yeah, you make sure you spray your air fryer basket because it will stick. Okay. I wonder if we could put a little parsley. It needs a little color. You put Parmesan cheese at the end. Sorry about that. All right. Let's give it one more mix. Let's see if I can put them in this basket. Let me back back this camera up, tripod. I, I still have the tripod set up like my husband did it. And I'm, I think I like it this way. Let me, let me know if you guys like it this way or if you like it like when it was on my counter and you could see directly on top. I really don't want to do two batches because I'm impatient. Oh, it's sizzling. Yeah, I see a big one right there. But you cook these for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, that's what it said. I'm sorry. And then you take them out and you put... You make the, uh, two batches for this, like the second bake or fry, whatever you want to call it. The second fry, you do two batch. You do it single layer. You get them if you want them crispy. So I might be messing up here. Those were two big potatoes. We'll see. Maybe you know. Maybe I'm, I'm just gonna have to wait. Just talked about patience earlier and looked at me. Let me take a couple of these out. I should just pull some of these big ones. All right. Oh, it's hot. This air fryer gets so hot. And sometimes when you take it out, you got to be careful not to forget that the bottom is really, really hot. Pull that one out. I could bake the other ones in the oven. The homemade fries are so delicious. I'm so excited. 
And I'll tell you what, those checkers fries you buy from the store, those are pretty good too. You're gonna shake this every eight minutes, if you remember. So let's put it on three, whoop, 80. I'm gonna do, oop, 13 minutes. And I'm gonna shake it about every eight minutes. I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna deep on this chicken. Me, Peanut and I had this little piece right here, but I'm gonna deep on this chicken. I might save the uh, bones to do a bone broth. I haven't decided. I have some other stuff, little pieces in my freezer that I need to use. So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because uh, I just like to share. Timer just went off. That was 12 minutes. I almost forgot how long I said it, but I shook them twice. And they're still, they're really soft. Let me show you so you can see. And they're very hot, but they're soft. So, I I'm, want I'm to, actually, I need to poke one with a knife or something, the, like a thick one to see if it's, it's soft all the way through, that's good. Okay, so, yeah, this just depends on if you like them crispy. I want them to have a little bit more color. They're just a little bit too tender. But, uh, so I'm gonna put them in there for about, let's say about, let's try, let's try four, four minutes and, uh, Nope, see, it, it. you have to hurry up. Well, you can change it, but this is the air fryer. And it has a setting. I don't know how to work it all the way. Okay, let's do four minutes. And then uh, I think that that'll be uh, done enough for us. Okay, so that was a total of 16 minutes. Now, anyway, yeah, I got a couple in there. That's what they look like. Uh, I like them this way, but oh, remember we're supposed to do... Take these out and then do them in batches to make them crispier. So let's try it. I've got those other fries to cook too. See, I got a couple there that are a little stuck. Let's see that. Oh, I got it out. All right. Okay, let me spray my pan again. Let me read the directions one more time. That, that was the other recipe I was thinking of. Well, if you want them crispier, you can bake them longer. I personally, I like them like this. Uh, I, I kind of like them soft and I love the peeling on there. So they look pretty good to me. Let me show you. And I, I tell you what, I did a pretty good job cutting them. But if you want them crispier, definitely you can make them long, you know, cook them longer. That one just kind of fell apart completely. But uh, they're too hot to try right now. But let me put the other ones in here. So I can get that over with. Yeah, the other recipe you had to uh, put them back in and get them eat a crispier, I guess because of the gravy. I'll try that one one day uh, without the cheese curds. I don't think I could even get cheese curds here. All right, I'm gonna put these in and uh, I think I wanna make up a little, well, I just like ketchup, but sometimes I like to make a little sauce. But anyway, let me show you my chicken. Now the reason I forgot to turn the air fryer on. Soros. I'm just gonna do 17 minutes. The, uh, the I'm gonna save that. And the, this is the chicken, and I'm gonna shred it really fine. I'm the food processor. I my other recipe that I really wanted to test today was uh, egg rolls, but I don't know if I can make like just a tiny bit of cabbage, a tiny bit of carrots. But I'm, I might try it. Anyway. That was just towards an idea. I don't, know how, how, I don't know how to tell how long this video is already. So, um, oh, oh, we got to check on the cheese sticks at, uh, oh, it's going to work out perfectly. The french fries are going to come out right when the cheese sticks, it's time for the cheese sticks. I just wanted to show you the second batch. I'll let these go and longer. And this, uh, I always forget that my oven has a keep warm setting. So, uh, put these in the oven on that. But look at these. These are a lot browner, crispier. I wanted to try both ways, so I'm kind of glad I did it separately. Oh, that pan's hot. But I did have to add a little bit of salt to the other ones. I'm gonna add a little salt to these. I'm gonna keep them in the oven and uh, till Ella gets here. And I'm gonna clean out my basket because I had a little sticking problem. And then the, it's time to do the uh, mozzarella I to scrub out a little bit, but I'm not gonna clean it all the way because it's warm and so we'll have to preheat it. Now, I have a pan right here. We have one of these uh, 
mist. You have to spray your bunch of real estate. I'm not really sure how, how to work it. And plus it takes a lot of time. Uh, Ella usually does this for me. She's not here yet. Let me see. So, yeah, I think you have to just... So what I'm going to do is, I think I have a bottle of canola oil in my cabinet. I'm just going to use this this canola oil right here. And you want to spray. Let's first, let's turn our, uh, our thing back on. We're going to put it on 400 this time. Whoops. Okay. And uh, we're just going to spray these really well. If you don't spray them, they don't turn uh, brown. Oh, and I'm making a mess. Sorry. I can't just clean. I work so hard to keep the stove clean. And I'm just wrecking it. That's okay. And these are supposed to cook for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm trying to be gentle with these. I don't know really what to expect with these. Hopefully, they come out well, but... I know frying them, I always had trouble with the cheese coming out. I don't know if I fried them on too high of a temperature or... And uh, I have one that's way thicker than the other ones. Yeah, this is... You wanna make sure you just spray it all around or it won't get the color that you're looking for. Okay. So the, the air fryer is hot. So we're gonna take this out and place them in our basket. Hopefully they don't they don't stick. And it doesn't say to to uh, and if you miss a spot, go ahead and spray it. Because you can think you know you're gonna use about about a tablespoon of oil spraying. So you're still way better off doing this than you would be frying, in my opinion. But it's up to you. You don't have to spray them at all if you don't want, if you choose not to. And uh, I'm running out of room here. So I'm not going to overcrowd it, guys. And I should have listened to the recipe and made eight, like they said. But I never, I can never follow it to the T. Let's throw that big one in there. All right. I'll put the other one back in the freezer. So let's stick this in here. And we're going to do 400. At, I'm going to do, I'm going to do 10 minutes. It says 10 to 12. So I'm going to start with 10. So let's say a little prayer and hopefully it comes out just right. And I need some marinade. I had to take a peek and, uh, let me show you what I found, what I saw. Let me make sure you can see it. Look at that. I am disgusted. I just tried so hard. Anyway, I think uh, they're cooked, so I'm going to stop it. I'm not going to let it keep going. Anyway, this, I guess, is a fail. The french fries were a success, and they probably, if I take it out now, I can feel that the crust is cooked right here, so you can see, and I might be able to salvage, you know, some of them. I think they're going to be edible. That way, if, if I keep them in there, I feel like all the cheese is going to come out, and then you won't be able to eat them. So I'm going to take them out now. They smell great. It's amazing. So I'm a little disappointed. You know, nobody likes to fail, but... Anyway, I tried. Next time, I think I'm going to try the uh, block of mozzarella. I think I might have better luck. I, and maybe it was my cheese sticks. Remember, I told you they were kind of flat. I don't know. Anyway, that's how those look. So, uh, we're going to taste them anyway. Not usually. Uh, look in the bowl so you can see them closely. So, they're edible. And they do smell good. Uh... They're not as crispy as you'd like, but I mean, they're pretty crispy. So, I've got to figure this out. But I came close. Came really close. So I'm not going to give up. i got to keep trying. So, I, they're probably going to taste fine. So, I think I'm going to put these in the oven with the french fries to keep them warm. So, uh, Ella should be here shortly. Anyway, I just wanted to show my face and say I'm still here and I'm not done yet. 
sometimes when I get rolling, I, I want to try different things, so I'm not going to tell you because I'm like, I want to put it in another video, but anyway, let's wait for a this little tiny, tiny bite. It's very hot, but I just, I have to. I'm sorry, I always look the wrong way for the camera. I'm trying to learn. Tastes fine. It needs a little bit more seasoning, but... I mean, it tastes good. So, anyway. I have that anyway. chicken I deboned. I want to test one more thing, and that's an uh, egg roll. And I'm just kind of just weighing it. I've had some cabbage that I need to use. I'm just gonna cook that. I'm gonna add my, just a little bit of chicken in here. Just very basic. It's onions, a little jalapeno, garlic, lots of garlic, cabbage, and one carrot shredded. And I was trying to shred my cabbage, but my food processor grated it. I don't think it shreds. So basically, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's add a little hot sauce, because you know we like that. You don't have to cook your cabbage this much. I just kind of like mine. And put a little oyster sauce, and it's all according to your taste. This is, I added some black pepper. This is always hard to get out. I really like uh, oyster sauce. And a little soy sauce. I would use uh, low sodium, but I'm um, out. That's probably too much. So let's just cook this. Ella ate a cheese stick and she said it was good. It was flat, but it was good. They're still in the oven on warm. All right, I'm turning my fire off. And I'm going to add a pinch of sugar because I always think that it needs it. We're trying to go a little fast because we're running a little late. I don't want this video to be too long. I may not even be able to put this in this video. I think I'm pushing it today. So stir that in. And take that off the heat. I actually want to put it in another bowl too. I could eat that just like that. Okay. I'll give that a taste in a second and uh, I'll put this in another bowl. Actually, I'm going to throw it in the refrigerator so it cools off quickly. And we will Wait be... a couple egg rolls. Like I said, I didn't want to make a lot. And I know people don't cook their cabbage as long as I do. But I like that sweet taste in the cabbage. So I'm probably going to make... Probably only going to make about two or three. Depending on how much you stuff them. But you want to have a little water. Some people make a flour and water paste. I'm just using a little water. And uh, I haven't made egg rolls in so long. I kind of forgot how to do it. But you just put your filling in. And then I take my fingers and I just, I actually wet all the sides. Because I like to make sure it sticks even on the, on the uh, when you roll it up. Just roll it up. And then I tuck it, tuck it in this way. I don't know if you can see, I'm sorry. And then I just roll it. This is kind of small. And then see it's it's stuck on the uh, stuck on the sides. I'm gonna brush mine with, you can brush it with sesame oil, but I don't care for a lot of sesame oil. I'm just gonna use some canola oil or you could spray them. Uh, I'm gonna try the canola oil or olive oil brushing this time. And you preheat your air fryer to 390. So I'll do that in a second because it won't take long. It's actually still hot because I've been using it so much today. You can tell I'm starting to get a little tired now. This is probably going to be a long video. So I'm not sure if people are going to like this style of video. But I'm going to put it out there anyway just to see. Because uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. 
kind of like spend the day with me in the kitchen. I don't know what to call it. Maybe air fry recipe. Air, testing air fryer recipes. I have a bunch more I want to test in the Instant Pot and the air fryer. And by the way, you don't have to have an air fryer to do this. You can also do this in the oven. Or you can fry them on the stove. You don't have to have an air fryer. Okay, there's two. Well, let's see. I think I'm making them kind of small here. So let me roll these. I won't make you watch the whole thing, and then I'm, I'll bring you back when I'm brushing. Four. Oh, and by the way, I have, I added one green onion to the mixture, and also that mixture is delicious. I I would just eat that. It was so good. It's so easy. Just a little soy sauce, oyster sauce, and a little little bit of sugar. You can leave the sugar out if you don't like that sweetness, but I love it, and uh, it turned out really really nice. Now I don't know if I'm putting too much or this is my first time so we'll see but I want it to be golden brown and my air fryer is preheating right now so basically I'm just gonna kind of brush them and try to turn them without tearing them I have some tones over there They're, sometimes I miss a spot and you can tell when you then you cook these for about nine or ten minutes but I you know like I'm gonna keep an eye on them because that's not what happened with the cheese sticks. And thank goodness I have that keep warm on my oven because oh, my other stuff would be really messed up. Okay, so let's move this to the air fryer and we'll put these in the basket. And I'll spray the basket. So let me move the phone, the phone, the camera okay, over. I'm going to slide them in. Oh, I don't want them touching, Ella. It's kind of like I needed to clean out my fridge. I needed to use the, that chicken, some of the chicken. I'm gonna have to do something else with it. I might make some more egg rolls actually. So I'm gonna put these on for nine minutes and then 390 Ella. And uh, it's be been uh, a few minutes. A bit, oh, I'm sorry, it's been, I'm just getting tired. It's been seven minutes. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna take these out. Uh, they seem really nice and crispy to me. Look, look at that. That's beautiful. A little bit of oil on them, so I'm gonna put on a paper towel. Oh my goodness, now I wish I would've made, uh, I, I wish I would've used all the chicken for these, but like I said, today was kind of like a test. So we have different things to try. So that's gonna be really good. So Ella took the dog for a walk, so we're almost ready to uh, let, let Taste everything. Uh, there's the finished product. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with it. That you know, I had it on keep warm, so the French fries weren't quite as good as they were when they first came out. But uh, I tasted the mozzarella sticks, and we got some sauce this time. But I want to taste this, and Ella's gonna film me tasting. But I wanted to show you a picture. You want me to taste it? Yeah, we're both gonna taste it. How can you do that, Ella? Uh, just like the camera towards us, and hopefully it, it catches us in the, in the view. Not the other side. Did you see all the dishes on my counter on the other side? So the egg rolls, let me see how hot they are. I want to. Oh, they're still very too. hot. I'm going to have to break one. Look, guys, look at this. I think I'm getting it in the camera. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. I can't eat that. Look at that. That's pretty nice. They're, 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 they're still. I'm going to set this aside because there's no sauce on it and I need sauce. But they they did that better whenever they first came out of the oven, but they're a little, they cooled down a little bit so the mozzarella kind of is just melted. But the, She did one earlier and just kept stretching and stretching. <laughs> I was like, oh, we didn't film it. <laughs> yeah, but these are really good. I don't think I'm in the shop. For being homemade and not fried, I think they. You're not like pre made at a factory. I, and the next time I'm going to try the block of mozzarella cheese, but they, they're good. Mm -hmm. I like them. I'm a big fan of mozzarella sticks. These are some of the best I've ever had, actually. Here's the inside of the, the egg roll. You can see make mozzarella sticks. it's steaming. It's very hot, but I wish I would have made more of these. I'm going to take a bite, but I might burn myself. And I like the, I didn't show you all the bottle, but I like the, the, the Maploy spicy sweet and sour sauce. 
before I do this, I know this video is going to be long. So, thank you for watching, first of all. And if you like this kind of videos, please subscribe. I've never done one that, like this. So, if you don't like it, let me know. You, I won't be offended. And if you do like it, let me know. Kind of like a spend the day with me in the kitchen vlog. or I, I don't want to be a vlogger, but I like spending the day with y'all in the kitchen. I had so much fun today. But vloggers are great. Don't get the wrong message from that. Mm. Oh, yeah. We are just a little bit all over the place sometimes. It's kind of hard to film because we're running all over the kitchen. It's like ratatouille is um, in our hats. That, just, that analogy doesn't make any sense, but, you know. <laughs> Those egg rolls are so good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we better end it now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Come back and see me next time. I'll have another great recipe for you. Anyway, thanks for spending the day with me. Bye. Bye.